that's it. That's it. No, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I realise that. I realise that. I'm not like. Very dissent. I just haven't asked you. You're a very dissent. This no, was no. this was a 20 minute interview. Oh, I saw it. Listen, this was a 20 minute interview. Uh, I think it's fine. It's fine. It's. it's I haven't asked about. It's fantastic in your opinion. I'm not a fan of Megan. Yeah. I'm not a fan. And I wasn't right from the beginning. What did you make and of what she and Harry said I think to poor you. Harry is being led around by his nose. Mm. And I think he's an embarrassment. The only thing I disagree with the Queen on, probably one of the only things ever, is that I think she should have said, if that's your choice, fine. But you no longer have titles, you no longer... And frankly, mm. don't come around. You just because her loyalty is to the country. She said that many times. Her loyalty is to the country. And I think that he has been so disrespectful to the country. So I want to know what's going to happen when Harry decides he's had enough of being bossed around, or maybe when she decides that she likes some other guy better. I want to know what's going to happen when it ends, OK? You think it's going to end? I do. I've been a very good predictor, as you know. I've predicted almost <laughs> everything. It'll end, and it'll end bad. It'll be interesting to see how it all works out. Harry is whipped. Do you mm. know the expression I'm whipped? familiar with the phrase. I won't use the full expression. <laughs> but Harry is whipped like no person I think I've ever seen. <laughs> A lot of respect for the queen. She's incredible. She loves her country. I think she's incredible. Look at her. She's been queen for what, 70 years or something, and she's never made a mistake. Everything she's done. Now, some of the kids, it's, you know, they make a little mistake every once in a while, sometimes a big one. What did you make of this the, Prince, woman, the Prince Andrew scandal? Well, it was a terrible thing. It was a, you know, terrible thing. I think terrible for a lot of people. <laughs> We saved tens of millions of lives. Maybe this would have been the Spanish flu of 1917 had we not come up. And I got it done in nine months as opposed to they were projecting from five to 12 years. I got it done in nine months, so I'm very proud of it. You were great I'm against vaccine. mandates, right. strongly against mandates, but I'm very proud of what we did. I saved worldwide tens of millions of lives. One last question. Do you accept that early on in the pandemic, that you didn't take it serious enough, or no. you were being told how serious it was. No, but I don't you accept. I you weren't sharing that with the American people. I'm a cheerleader for this country. I want to be positive for this country. I take everything seriously, and I took that very seriously. But I'm a cheerleader for the country, and our country came out of it better than anybody else. We've done a great job.